Di pa ba kayo napapagod, matakot? Takot tayong magkasakit? Takot din tayong mamatay? Takot tayong mamataya ng mahal sa buhay? At ito ay normal sa lahat ng tao. May pandemic o wala, we're afraid of sickness, we're afraid of death for ourselves and for our loved ones. Kaya lang po, dagdag sa takot ng COVID, meron pang ibang takot. Baka magtagal ito. Baka dumami yung walang trabaho. Baka dumami yung magugutom. Baka magtagal ito. Baka wala ng pambili kahit face mask. Pagkatapos, aarestuhin pa yung walang face mask. Ngayon, pati face shield, kasama na rin. Puhulihin na rin daw. At may multa kapag walang face shield, walang face mask. Senior citizen o bata, aresto kaliwat kanal kapag hindi sumunod sa batas laban sa COVID. Nakakapagod po kasi po hindi pa mamaraan ng Diyos ang pananakot. Intimidation is not the way of the Lord. There is no such a thing as a divine threat that if you do not behave, I will send you to hell. Because intimidation, threats, brainwashing is not the way of the Lord. For some, it is effective because some people obey. But, It is not right. It is not right na manakot ng kapwa-tao. Sapagkat ang pananakot ng kapwa-tao ay hindi pagturing sa kapwa-tao bilang kapantay. Kapag yung kapwa-tao mo tinatakot mo, ang tingin mo dun sa tinatakot mo, mas mababa kaysa sa iyo. But God created us with equal dignity. And God who created us does not even threaten us. Because God who created us repeatedly tells us, Do not be afraid. Take courage. My dear brothers and sisters, if we will continue to live in fear, we would lose our minds. We would live paralyzed unable to move, unable to talk, even afraid to go out. Why? Because we are afraid of everything and we are afraid of everybody. And the Lord says to us, Take courage. I am not a ghost. Do not be afraid. It is unhealthy fear. But there is also healthy fear, my dear brothers and sisters. There is healthy fear. It is healthy to fear hurting your loved one. It is healthy to fear disrespecting your parents. It is healthy to fear getting sick or infecting your loved ones with the same sickness. It is healthy. Why? Because it is born from care. It is born from love. Kaya ako nagpe-face mask kasi baka ako yung may sakit at ayoko mahawa yung mga mahal ko sa buhay. If we would not be afraid, then we would die early. If we are not afraid, we will cross the street without looking to the left and to the right and then get run over by the tricycle or the jeep. It is healthy fear to eat the right food, to take care of your health, it is healthy. But, there is something higher than healthy fear. And what is it? Holy fear. And 
the Lord tells us, Do not be afraid of me. But fear of the Lord is a virtue. So, what do we mean by fear of the Lord? Fear of the Lord does not come from an intimidating God. Fear of the Lord does not come from a God who threatens you with punishment for one sin. No. The fear of the Lord is this. God has loved me so much. I am so afraid to sin because I do not like to lose Him. It is fear of the Lord that led Moses to remove his sandals because he was standing on holy ground. There is the holy fear that brings about reverence. There is that holy fear that brings about respect. There is that holy fear that brings about obedience. There is that holy fear that brings about imitating the Lord because I dread losing the Lord. I am afraid to lose the Lord. It is not about hell. It is not about punishment. But because God has loved me so much, I don't ever like to lose Him. Makasayangin ko ang pagmamahal ng Diyos. Kaya ako natatakot. This kind of fear is not paralyzing because this kind of fear is sanctifying. This kind of fear will make us better and better because it is holy fear. It is all right to be afraid because if we lose that sense of fear, we would waste our lives and waste the lives of others. But there is such a thing as unhealthy fear. It is obedience because of intimidation. It is observing the law because of the fear of being arrested, of being shot, of being killed. It is not godly and it is wrong. Be afraid of the Lord, not because of the punishment, be afraid of the Lord because it is worthwhile to obey Him. And I would be wasting my life if I turned away from Him. In the end, brothers and sisters, there should be only one thing that we should be afraid of. Be afraid to sin because it separates you from Him. All the others, death, sickness, persecution, trolls, fake news, calumny, slander, lies, gossip. All of these are bearable if the Lord is with us. Don't dare to be separated from the Lord. Sapagkat mahiwalay ka sa Panginoon, yun talaga ang nakakatakot. Lahat kaya natin sapagkat ang Diyos ay suma sa atin. Today, the Lord whispers to you in the midst of the fears, in the midst of the anxieties besetting us. Take courage. Do not be afraid. I am not a ghost. I am here. All will be well.